friends i will uh, complete the problem the problem which i kept it as incomplete in my previous lecture that is on method of variation of parameters to find uh, the two parameters ux and vx and up to here we discussed that is the calculation of that ux how this works with the help of this ronskin this is e to the power 2x that is ronskin is not equal to 0 then we are permitted to go, go for calculation of ux and then vx with the help of these two values then this must be x cancels and e to the power x and e to the power x that is e to the power 2x this also can be cancelled then you are getting integration that is minus of it is dx that should be minus of uh, 1 into dx that can be written as minus of x only that is for ux and then for vx also we can write that is equal to integration that is y1 so vx y1 means that is e to the power x <coughs> and uh, that is x of x that value will be e to the power of x divided by x is there and w that is the run scale uh, should be in the denominator that is into e to the power it is 2x dx therefore what is the integration of this step e to the power 2x e to the power of x into e to the power x basis same powers can be added this term can be cancelled this is equal to that is 1 divided by x into dx this is equal to log of that is x plus constant that means for the value of vx so this is log x and this is uh, ux is equal to minus x this is your complementary function therefore general solution that is y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus of c2 e to the power uh, x into x this is and plus of ux that means minus x and plus of log x so this is the value for complete uh, answer that is equal to general solution is equal to combination of complementary function plus particular integral then uh, based on that another uh, variety of the problem I will take maybe uh, in, in another one or two problems I will conclude this topic <coughs> example that is solve y double dash plus of y is equal to sine of x that is all sin x cos x secant all the trigonometric functions then in the solution general solution can be written as y is equal to yc plus this is yp then yc plus this is yp means yc is a complementary function for yc for yc let us write uh, d square plus 1 operating on y is equal to sin x implies ae that means auxiliary equation auxiliary equation that is m square plus 1 is equal to 0 then m is equal to this should be plus or minus i m is equal to plus or minus i means they are the imaginary roots and this is nothing but 0 plus or minus 1 into i nothing but alpha plus or minus this is i beta <coughs> then complementary function yc is equal to c1 that is e to the power 0 into x it is cos of x plus c2 e to the power 0 into x into sin of x is there this is equal to c1 cos x plus of c2 sin x this is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 it is y2 so in this case y1 and y2 are respectively that is cos x and uh, sin x because linearly independent solutions one is y1 and the other one is y2 how these two functions will behave in the calculation of Ronskin 
that we will check by taking their corresponding differentials. That is uh, introducing the co uh, complementary function itself as the variation of parameter solution using C1 and C2. Uh, in these two places we will write ux and vx. Therefore, define C1 is equal to u of x and uh, C2 is equal to v of x, v of x and y1 is equal to cos x, right and y2 is equal to uh, that is sin x. Then yp is given by, yp is given by that is yp is equal to uh, that should be c1 ux into cos x plus of c2 that means v of x into it is sin x okay so this is the new solution we call it as particular integral in the case of variation of parameters where <coughs> ux is equal to integration minus of it is y2 multiplied by x of x and uh, divided by multiplied by x of x divided by that is w trans k n it is dx then vx equal to integration y1 with plus sign x of x multiplication dx divided by trans k n where w is equal to that is y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash not equal to 0. Therefore, this is equal to should be cos x sin x and minus sin x and uh, this should be cos x. Simplification gives cos into cos cos square x minus another one more minus sin according to determinant simplification plus of it is sin square x. This is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0. Here also we are permitted to go for the next step because Ranskian mm -hmm. is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0. It allows us to go to the next step according to method of variation of parameters. This is the most important stage where you have to declare, where you have to decide whether this method uh, allows to continue for the next step or not allowing us to continue for the next step. Only it depends on that Ranskian that should not be equal to 0 that is all. <coughs> now, according to the first calculation that is ux is equal to first calculation that is ux is equal to means what that is uh, minus of y2 minus of y2 uh, you can write it as what is that y2 value sin x. So, minus sin x minus sin x into x of x x of x is what that is sin x right and denominator this must be uh, that is equal to 1 it is dx correct uh? minus y2 minus y2 that is sin x and x of x that is sin x and trans k n that is equal to 1 therefore this gives minus of sin square x it is dx minus of sin square x into dx okay then this is to be integrated. So, sin square x we have the formula cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a. So, what is sin square a? Here you have to uh, write the value sin square a because sin square x is there. So, sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a it is divided by 2. In place of a you write it as x because second degree directly uh, to integrate no ready formula we have then we need to convert that second degree into first degree that is what I am doing this is cos to the power first degree therefore minus of that should be uh, 1 minus cos of 2x divided by 2 that is with respect to x then we need to write we need to write the solution what is that solution minus of it is 1 by 2 uh, you can take it as outside x minus of sin 2x 
I think uh, minus sign is outside that is right and sin 2x and divided by 2 this is for ux is the solution this is for ux is the solution <coughs> now uh, another uh, solution which we have here that is to be calculated as vx so vx is equal to vx is equal to integration that is minus of minus of uh, sorry uh, plus of y1 y1 is cos x and x of x is nothing but sin x correct uh, divided by uh, run scan that is 1 and then it is dx that is sin x into cos x is there sin x into cos x means with the same angle same angle means another formula for the trigonometric function you have to recall uh, which you have studied in the trigonometry chapter that is sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a into cos a so that formula you have to apply that is integration sin of 2x uh, divided by 2 is your converted formula therefore that is equal to that is equal to uh, what you have to do sin 2x integration that is cos of 2x and divided by it is 4 that is vx and that is equal to and plus constant constant should not be written so this is ux and this is vx then a general solution y general solution y is equal to c1 uh, should be uh, should be cos x plus of c2 into sin x and plus of ux that means minus 1 by 2 into x minus sin of 2x sin of 2x and uh, plus of vx plus of plus of cos of 2x and divided by 4 so this is the general solution for this problem which includes two arbitrary constants of c1 and c2 so with this i would like to stop up to here the topic of uh, uh, differential equations uh, itself by uh, studying up to uh, variation method of variation of parameters so now uh, after this according to your syllabus module 1 uh, which we are to discuss now they are, these things were in the module 4 now i am going to uh, discuss as module 1 that is complex numbers and its applications so there's a new chapter for you uh, and uh, there are two topics which still i have to discuss one is complex numbers and the another one is multiple integrals in the next uh, one or two lectures i will try to cover that uh, remaining portion of this uh, matdip 301